Monday, November 26, 2018. Pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tremendous Thanksgiving Day. Hope you didn't overeat. I hope you all had an enjoyable holiday uh, weekend as well. And uh, it was uh, uh, great to see such a tremendous turnout at a uh, all the holiday parade. Am I okay? It's a matter of opinion. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. That's yeah, right. <laughs> Fresh, thanks. Okay, with that being said, uh, Mr. Clerk, we're ready for item number one. We accept the minutes of uh, November 13th, 2018, City Council meeting. Accept them placed on file. We have the hearings of petition of Eddie A1, DBA, A1 Restorations for Motor Vehicle Mechanical Repair License located at 287 North Montello Street, Unit 1, in City Clerk's Office, October 31st, 2018. Hearing is signed for November 26th, 2018 at 7 p.m. All uh, necessary paperwork is on file, and the Brockton Fire Department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. If there's anybody here to speak in favor of, please come up to the microphone and state your name to the clerk. Hello, my name is Eddie A1. Uh, I reside in Brockton. I have a few companies in Brockton, and I'm looking for three repair licenses on or at 287 North Montel Street in Brockton. Okay, so the first one we're working at is uh, unit number one of that of that address. Anyone else? Okay, um, that's all you have to say at this point? Yes. Okay, anyone else here in favor wishes to be heard? Please come forward and speak your name to the, to the clerk. Seeing none, I guess we'll clear that part of the hearing close. Anybody here in uh, opposition? Anybody here in opposition? Seeing that, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Councilor Ali, I believe this is in your area. Is this correct? It is. Okay. Anything um, you want to say? Or? This is just a, uh, a transfer, right? From your, your oh, this is the the, the new license of yes. them, the existing yes. property. Exactly. Um, as long as it you know follows the same stipulations as the license is already there that it shares the building with, because uh, you do have one or two bays that are already licensed, right? Yes, three of them. Yep, three of them. Okay. As long as it, you know, shares the stipulations Great. with those, I have no objection. Councilors, have any other questions or concerns? Council Fowler. Just a, a question to our legal counsel, if I could, because I think this issue came up before. Multiple licenses to a single individual, I thought, if my memory serves, was not consistent with with the law. That you could you could have three separate individuals, shall we say, or corporations or entities apply, providing it was consistent with the ordinance, but not one individual holding all three licenses, basically for speculation, to transfer them to someone. So could you enlighten us, sir? So the last time these came up, the um, amendments that we did on transferability hadn't yet passed, so that's why I had to advise for them to um, either be tabled, I, I don't remember if it was a no action vote, um, but because this is a location that has, and they're empty, right? There wasn't, your other tenants that were there prior have been evicted for whatever reasons? In the, no, uh, one okay. of them has. One was evicted. Uh, I should say two of them were evicted. One was there, but not holding a repair license. So these could issue to him, and they could be transferable, but they would have to be upon reapplication to the city council because they would be considered a transfer license within the same garage, and it would be transferring from one to another. So that is a risk if, in case these licenses are ever transferred. I'm sorry, I missed the last part of that. Was your question whether or not these licenses can be transferred? No. My, my question was, can a single person have three separate licenses on the same piece of property and does that comport now with our ordinance as it's written? We don't have restrictions as to how many licenses per location because of these instances that some of these shops have separate bays that are being um, leased, not necessarily the buildings being leased, but the bay areas being leased. Okay. One of the information, Mr. President. Also, when I brought this exact same question up when we were at the little theater, 
And uh, what we were told at that time is, is even though it's in the name of the individual, it's the DBA that's the, the trade green point, doing business as. So even though there are three, um, there are three licensings being issued in the name of Mr. Awan, they're, they're for three different entities, even though they're not legal, well, they're legal entities with the city of Brockton because you have to pay for the DBA certificate. Right. That's what we were told when I asked the same question when. So it, so it basically comes down to do we want three more repair licenses in the city then? Everything else is perfectly legal? No, it becomes a political, a philosophical question Correct. rather than a legal question? Correct. Okay. But you Thanks. do, so if, if he gets the license, there are transferable, the amendments that you added, so I'm saying is that, let's say, I'm not, I'm not using you right here, but let's say that they were just being a straw man type thing. These are the situations where he could apply for a license and then lease it to another business. But in order to do that, they'd have to come seek approval for that transfer. So you'd be able to, if you're worried that, that something like that may come up, you'd be worried to take action on it um, on the transfer application. All right. So would he need three separate insurance policies, three separate whatever legal documents that are required of these? Uh, workers comp if there's going to be repair work done or if those are your conditions then you can put them in for stipulations but that's not what your order ordinance says okay do we have any uh, do we have any uh, stipulations or any hours of the day days of the week uh, well, well, excuse are. me the stipulations would have to come from the council if he's if he's worked it out with the with the gentleman I would I would think there are stipulations on the uh, business is already in operation at that location um, so I'm just you know of the mind to keep those you know continue I don't I don't have them off the top of my head uh, but you know they already they already are you know in effect and it could be I've missed something because I was a little under the weather but did we I don't know how many vehicles are going to be stored there I don't know how many parking places there are I don't I don't know any of that. I, I, I don't know whether all three are going to operate at the same days of the week or hours of the day. And, uh, you know, we got somewhat chastised by the police department for not spelling out very clearly what we want. So that's the only reason I'm raising these issues, as I would with any license. Uh, if I the, can, one of the things he's suggesting is that it be consistent. So I think that that was one of the concerns of the department previously was that with these bay situations, you would have half the bay being able to operate till 4 p.m. and maybe the other half could operate till 6 p.m. So at least in this instance, he's suggesting that they have the same hours of operations. So perhaps that aspect of what the officers were concerned about um, is mitigated a little. Thank you, Mr. I would probably, at, th at this point, I mean, if we're interested in knowing that, then I mean, we could just place these to the end of the meeting and you can sit with Mr. Anderson and find out just, you know, what those stipulations are that are on the other, um, well, well, you know, businesses that are located there and then we can just come back to it so there'll be some answers to those questions. Right. Councilor Rodriguez, so. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, Mr. President, I, I actually have a little bit of a concern um, when, um, we're looking at one individual getting three licenses. So anytime um, uh, a citizen of this city feels like uh, coming in front of this body to request a license, uh, I know this time is three, but can it be five, six, seven, whatever the number might be, just because I have the base to do it. I don't quite understand why we wouldn't just provide the individual with one license and operate in multiple bays if need be under one entity. I have a real problem with providing three licenses. And for that reason, until we get this clarified, if I could, I'd like to, I'd like to refer this item to our subcommittee on public safety to, to, to really vet this stuff out because I, I do have some concerns with this. Okay, Council. Council Sullivan. Yeah, I just I'd, I'd echo the sentiments of Mr. Rodriguez. I, I don't remember what, when we stopped sending it to public safety. I know there was a practice last year under the legislative session. We were doing that. Uh, the applicant would come before us. I sat there, and, and a lot of you did, and they would bring the the parking um, parameters and show us the spaces right. and I, I don't know why we stopped doing that. Number one. Number two, to, to the ward counselor, if, if you're keeping the same steps re uh, relative to two, would you keep the step for the one? He said there was a third one that wasn't operational, right? So uh, you have to, you can't just say you're attaching the steps 
because there weren't any steps on that third one. Council uh, Lally, go ahead. V, as, as far as I'm aware, you know, as, far as, I, as far as I remember, uh, there were three that already have licenses. What he's referring to is the three, the three that he's looking for licenses on now. One of them was not an operational business beforehand. It was just a place where cars were, were left. Like there probably wouldn't have been steps on that because it wouldn't have been the same type of business. That's, 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 one, of, that's right. one of these three. So okay. None of them have those, yeah. I mean, I, I, I share the same sentiments as Council Rodriguez. I mean, I, we were sending it to public safety and all of a sudden we're not, and I think we need to because that, there's a lot of confusion. That no, is true. Exactly. I don't Just know why. Can yeah, I think part of the reason, if you don't mind, Mr. President. Go ahead. One of the reasons why I think it hasn't recently gone to public safety is because we had the, um, the ban on licenses so they if they came before us it was easy to just reject um, but because we have the new amendments applicants are now eligible to apply so that's likely why you haven't seen any of these go to public safety as because before they were just advised to, to deny because you weren't allowing any new licenses thank you, thank you. why don't uh, somebody want to make a motion pertaining to did you make it yes motion to send them to public safety second, second. on the motion Council Borgard. No, I just wanted to support the motion, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, th so we'll send them to uh, public safety, and then uh, uh, Chairman, you know, you the Chairman Council Fowler, you're the Chairman yeah. of Public Safety? So I would probably, hopefully, you can do something the month of December before we get into yes. January. and absolutely. We'll, wrap it up yeah. by we'll the, uh, coordinate with uh, Attorney Resnick. Okay, so motion was made and seconded. On the motion, motion. Councilor Rezac. President, um, just a point of information, and I, I believe I've spoken to Councilor Fowler, the Chairman of um, Public Safety, is the, this has been going on for over a year, and I believe Mr. Awan was here before us last year, and for some how, there were, because of the changes in the right, ordinance, exactly. he's been waiting. He had been waiting to go before public safety, but for whatever reason never got sent to public safety. So just to clarify for everybody, there, he was here before us and something happened almost a year ago. So there's been a little confusion because of the changes in the ordinance. Right, right. Thank you. Okay, so uh, on the motion, Councilor Derrickwood. Mr. President, um, with regard to um, some of the comments that my colleague, Councilor Wedgegas and also Robert Sullivan just made, I think it would be um, somewhat important to actually have a map in regard to, you know, how many cars that, that I, you're going to have at there. The time, excuse me, at the time that we were supposed to go to public safety, okay. everyone had a package. Okay. And I'm not sure if that was discarded or you have it in the file somewhere. We should have everything in there. But you know, unfortunately, um, I, I, would, I would talk for my colleague, um, Council Susan Castro, too. So where I knew we went here last year, and we got right. 220. No, I understand. Um, I mean, 20. I have, if you want to just take a look at it. Did you pass this in last year? Yes. Yes, so it would have died on the legislative session. Right, it so was it right in December. Resubmitted. Okay, so you don't have any of the documents. Even if we did, it would be a moot point. Okay. Right. Because the thing is that some of us I, I went just, here last year. So I was, uh, I was ready for any of that to be brought up here. Well, just in protection to the council in itself, it, that was the time when we were changing the ordinance, yes. and there was some confusion. I think you were even there at a couple of meetings when yeah, we yeah. were discussing that. I think the, the clerk was even there at one of the meetings when this was all going on. So that, that unfortunately, that's how, unfortunately, you got hung up in that little right. mix. I'm, I'm sure it'll be worked out. There's no doubt about it. So. You know, if everyone's set, then you know, I'll just I'll just move for you know taking the votes on. Well, I just want to say a few you things, finish Mr. President. On the motion. Um, yeah, with, with regard to what I was saying, um, like I said, um, I'm not questioning whether or not you passed him last year. Uh -huh. But the thing that I would like you to understand is that I mean, obviously, Council Nicastro and myself, we went here, and this is a new session. Right. So I think it would be wise if you do have access. Uh, to this information to just send it to us. Okay. Um, you can send it to, to us via email or if you have, um, I don't know, like hard copy of it, you can just give it to us because I am in public safety. I think my colleague, Win File, would be more than happy to actually take a look at, you know, the layout right. in regard to okay. what you're going to do. I mean, this is kind of like very easy to do in regard to what you want. To Thank you, Mr. President. So, so to really um, do it, I think we can do, can we just Take items number one, two, three collectively, and and and, and send them to public safety. So on each one, okay. So so on this particular one here, um, the motion's been made and seconded that we're going to send uh, item number two to uh, public safety. All in favor of that? Opposed? That's going to go to public safety. Item number three. 
Petition of Betty A1 DBA A3 Motor Works for Motor Vehicle Mechanical Repair License located at 287 North Montello Street, Unit 3 in City Clerk's Office, October 31st, 2018. Assigned for, period assigned for November 26, 2018 at 7 p.m. All unnecessary paperwork is on fire, file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived, the hearing has been opened on this particular item. Anybody here in favor of, which is Mr. Ian Warren. Um, anyone else here that wants to speak in favor of, please come forward. Seeing on that part of the hearing is closed. Anybody here that's in opposition, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed. Councilors, and again, need a motion to... Motion been made and seconded to send item number three to public safety. All in favor? Opposed? Item number three will go to public safety as well. Number four. Petition of eighty eight one DBA A4 Automotive for Motor Vehicle Mechanical Repair License located at 287 North Montello Street, Unit 4, in City Clerk's Office, October 31st, 2018. <coughs> Hearing is signed for November 26, 2018 at 7 p.m. All the necessary paperwork is on file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived to declare the hearing open on this particular item. Anybody here in favor of? Mr. Anwan, anyone else here in favor? Please come forward and state your name uh, to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Councilor Lally? Uh, move to send this to public Second. safety. Second. Motion been made and second on the motion. Councilor Azak. I would just like to uh, make a comment. We're going to find ourselves in the same situation. We're come, December's right around the corner. Is there any way that we can? Um, legislative session doesn't die. It doesn't. No, no the legislative it's session doesn't, doesn't die. So even if the committees are the same into the next year, the okay. same yeah. chair and everything? It, okay. it, 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 right. The, the, the only thing you'll have difference is your calendar in December is, is, is a little messy because of the way the holiday falls and you actually don't have a council meeting council meeting uh, for 2019 until January 14th. So until the new president, I, I mean, I remain president until that point in time. So we want to try to wrap it up, I think, by the end of December, by that last That's meeting after I Christmas. Just, I didn't yeah. want the same thing to happen again, what happened. Yeah, with we'll, get this, it, we'll, um, get, we'll get it wrapped up somehow, business. just on the motion. Uh, just a point of information uh, for my colleagues, especially in public safety, I'd be looking at 6 p.m. on the 17th of December, if that is acceptable to uh, Attorney Resnick. And, so every, everyone will kind of have it in their calendar if that's if that's all right and Mr. A will the next night at six o'clock on the 18th. We always look forward to that kind of. <laughs> well, 17th would be finance. Yes. Possible. I mean, yeah. depending where what depending I see. Right. The, but you could you do decide. it. You're going to do it at 6 p.m. anyway. Yeah, we yeah. do it at 6 o'clock, and then depending upon what you do, Mr. President. 6 p.m. We'll here, here and then we went right. Okay. Right. So motion was made and seconded again on the motion, Council. The motion, Mr. President. I mean, given the amount of time this gentleman have been waiting to actually get this license, um, I'm so happy to see that my colleague. Uh, Council Fowell, you know, feel that the 17th would be a great date because I truly would like to see this be done before the end of this year. So exactly. I think as quickly as we can act on this, it would be um, beneficial not just to this gentleman but also to the people of Rockton, which I believe um, his business will provide some excellent service. So um, I think so far, Council Fowell. Um, already mentioned that the 17th. I hope it will work for um, all of us on that um, committee. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will work for all. And as long as you have a quorum, you just continue forward, anyways. If for whatever reason, if I, but you'll, it, it'll work for everybody. The junior member all takes us out for a party after that meeting. <laughs> by the way, right now. well, you know, I mean, you well, know, the president will pay for it. Why not? Just kidding. Yeah, the president will pay for it. <laughs> Motion was made and uh, seconded. Council on the motion. Motion, just yes, for, for, uh, for logistics. If 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 the individual is going to be requested as a stip, um, what Mr. Fowell had said about um, uh, workers' comp insurance and liability insurance and and coverages, he should know that before that date, so he can generate that with a certificate of insurance through his insurance agent. So, exactly. Um, okay. That would be through the Ward Council. But just from a time mechanism, if that's yeah. going to be the case, he would need a little time to get that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Thank uh, you. I, I would, on the motion, I would request that the, the Ward Council work with Mr. Anawan and, and even with the Council of Fowl and make sure it all comes together for him because he's been waiting and we piece it together, okay? Yeah. That's it. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It goes to the Public Safety uh, Subcommittee dated for December 17th.
2018 at 6 p.m. Next item, Mr. Clerk. Report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of November 7, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of November 19, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. And a communication from the Fire Chief requested that the City Council authorize a total appropriation of $400,000 from Fire Department Personal Services non-overtime to Fire Department overtime in order to maintain all companies for the remainder of fiscal 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the fire chief requesting that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of a donation of $500 from Anbridge Foundation to City of Brockton Fire Department. The donations will be used to help defray the cost of public safety. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the police chief request an authorization to expend grant monies in the amount of $22,035 related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Office of Grants and Research, Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2019, Sustained Traffic Enforcement Program, STEP Grant. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an order that the City Council's accept and approves a tax increment exemption agreement between the city and South Shore Property Management, LLC, of Torrey Street, Unit 3, of Brockton, Mass., relative to the market rate housing project proposed for 47 West Elm Street in City Council November 13, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. President, make a mo motion for re reconsideration and the hopes it does not prevail. Motion has been made for reconsideration and hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? <laughs> reconsideration fails. An appropriation of the total grant in the amount of $680,516 from U.S. Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs Fiscal 18 <coughs> Strategies for Policing Innovation Grant to City of Brockton Police Department Fiscal 18 Strategies for Policing Innovations Grant Fund. This is a multi-year award with four annual budgets of $243,920, $211,000, $207,782 and $17,432 applying respectively beginning in 2018. In City Council, November 13, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. Enary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of a donation in the amount of $500 from Enbridge Foundation to City of Brockton Fire Department. Mr. President. Council Cruz. Momentarily, I'm going to make a motion on number 20 to act on the suspension of the rules. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Chief is here tonight. Rather than make him come out in two weeks or whenever we have finance, why don't we take this? Like make a motion we take this under suspension of the rules. Motion's been made and seconded that we're going to take this particular order uh, under the suspension of the rules. All in favor of that? Opposed? We're going to take. If anyone does have any questions, seeing none, um, uh, by adoption, by a roll call vote, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrancourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Falwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. In order that the City Council authorize the acceptance of expenditures of total grant funds in the amount of $22,035 from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2019. I move to take that under suspension of the rules. Motion's been made. 
Motion's been made and seconded that we take this particular item under the, suspend the rules and act on it this evening. All in favor? Opposed, we're gonna suspend the rules and act on this. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Total appropriation of $400,000 from Fire Department Personal Services non-overtime to Fire Department overtime. Mr. President, make a motion to take this under Second. suspension. Special rules and act this evening. Motion has been made and seconded that we suspend the rules and act on this one this evening. All in favor of that? Chief, Opposed? Chief, the Chief is here. Questions. If anyone has any questions in regards to that, anything you want to say, Chief? No, this, this is an estimate of what I plan I will need for the rest of the fiscal year. <coughs> um, some factors that could change that. Um, the weather being one of them. Uh, snowstorms tend to boost up my overtime a little bit. Um, but we made an estimate that this, this should get us through. Um, another change that is something called the BRAVE Act. It was just enacted. Um, it allows my, and I have 10 firefighters that are in the military reserves. <clears throat> At this point, or up until this point, they were allowed 17 tours for their military leave. The BRAVE Act has changed that to 40. So as you can see, it went from 17 to 40. Um, that's a, a, a lot of shifts that I'm gonna most likely have to cover with overtime. So um, those factors, um, um, I have about eight or nine retirements coming in January. <clears throat> the mayor is going to allow me to hire and replace those positions. However, the hiring process, the training, it does take quite a while. They probably won't be ready to go on the trucks until early summer. <coughs> Thank you, Chief. Council Rodriguez on the uh, Mr. Motion. President, I just have a quick question for you. Is the federal government going to do anything in terms of uh, helping the fire departments with some reimbursement to cover the... Uh, that I know of, Counselor. This is I have one of those unfunded those mandates, I guess. Right, exactly. Thank you, sir. Any other council follow? Yeah, just, just, just to clarify, sure. though, I believe that applies to police and fire, and it might be other city employees, correct? Correct. Yeah. So, uh, and it's not a local option, so it is the least we can do for our veterans, Absolutely. but I suspect there'll be other budgetary implications. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you. Anyone else <coughs> with any questions? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. So the hopes does not prevail. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? <laughs> reconsideration fails. Thank you, Councilor. <laughs> yeah. He's a new councillor tonight. Yeah. The result? I mean, you could do what you want to do Yeah. Next item, Mr. Mr. Clerk. Resolved to invite the Mass Development TDI <laughs> Fellow to inform the City Council as a result of the Summer Beer Garden Project known as PROVA and any future plans for other such activities. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Resolved to invite the Executive Director of the Brockton Retirement Board to inform the City Council as to changes in policies established under her administration. Refer to the Committee on Finance. All items on the agenda are available in their entirety for review in the City Clerk's Office for all interested parties. And I believe items number 21 and 22, I think, were resolved from Council of Beauregard, so I'm not being rude, but don't, you may not find them on the next agenda because I'm not going to make an agenda just for those two items. Okay, so it may be the uh, next agenda in, in December, just so you know that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I do want to, uh, there is one thing I, I do want to get somewhat clear is because we haven't brought back Aquaria, and I had them and when I say had them, I had Aaron from the uh, auditor's office try to trace back to me to just what we did do. And, you know, at one point they were present at the Wall Memorial Building and there were some questions and concerns and, and other things. And then there was um, a motion that we would hold everything to a certain point. And then we went to the Little Theater and they showed up one night because they were just having coffee and tea around the corner and they wanted to say hello, which was okay. But I think... Um, we never really got back to doing anything with them, and then I was out for, for the month. Um, and I think I, at the end, I, I believe it was Councilor Sullivan had, had moved because we wanted to get some information in regards to the contract that the mayor had signed, if I'm not mistaken. Council, follow up, and 
I requested that. We did get some information from the city solicitor's office, which I disagree with. But okay, um, it, it might be wise. To and that's where it's at. With our our own attorney on that response before we have those gentlemen come before. Well, us. I, and I think that's just how you finished it off. Is that council? Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Attorney Resnick, to work with the city solicitor to convey to the city council. And I, I don't, you know, remember getting any information pertaining to it either. So I think we need to find out where we're at, what you want to do, and I would probably just, you know, we'll leave it off December. Somebody can take it back up in January. Um, or just refile it again, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to do. This little list that I keep is, I keep it just as a president to things that, and as far as I'm concerned, I go like this when I'm done, because that's my, my work as president, but, um, I you, Mr. President. I'm yeah. I'm having a senior moment, I am almost to 49, but didn't, didn't we get something when, didn't solicitor's office give us some googly gook opinion? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I, I think what happened is that the, the, the solicitor uh, issued a, a rather pointed communication that he, what he thought, he, he, he thought that what we were trying to do was gather information so that our legislative council would pick it apart, and that was not the intent at all. What right, we wanted right, to right. know is, what, on what did you rely to determine that a valid amendment was made to the original water services agreement without council action. So that is still very much up in the air. And I would say, uh, Mr. President, that if our, if our legislative council runs into problems with, with the law department sharing that information, you know, we fund the law department. I think we're asking a perfectly valid question. Uh, because it has broad implications across all of city government. I mean, if you can do it with one contract, what's to say you couldn't do it with others? So, I mean, I think we have to nail that down. Is Was there a I valid understand. amendment and who, who yeah. authorized it? If no, there wasn't, then we're back to the original contract. And I might say that if they haven't been providing the number of gallons, they owe us the money, mm -hmm. period. So. Yeah, and we, and we did leave it at, at that. It was my last comment that night at the little theater. Um, I think it was, it was uh, the meeting right when I left at the end of September when they did come in that night that we would do something in November. Yeah. And then I was out for October, so it just more or less yeah. sat. So I'm just looking to see where we go to do something for the remainder I, of this year or we just... I, 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 we I kind of agree with you since the legislative session doesn't end. And to give them... Okay. And to give legislative council time, I, I would suggest we put it on in maybe mid-January. Okay. Uh, so we'll still do the research that needs to be, that needs to be done, and then we can um, go from yeah. that point and, and put it some, at some point in January. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll follow through on that. Councilman Castro. Thank you, Sorry. Mr. President. Regarding the letter we, re we all received from the city solicitor, there was a statement in there that said, if you'd like to see my, my underlying opinion, uh, let me know. You know, in other words, the opinion on which he based directing the mayor to sign this contract, whatever it may be. So I've twice written to the city solicitor and said, oh, you said we could have it if we asked you for it, so could you send it to me? But I have not received it. Okay. So it's hanging there. I'll, I'll have a little conversation with the city solicitor as well in regards to it because we need to, we need to you know, get it back. And I, like I said, I don't think it'll be December, but we'll get it back for for January and I'll work with the next council president to make sure it happens. Your yeah, Mr. question, president, I actually, um, I think you brought that up in terms of one item. I, I distinctively remember that it's actually two items. The, uh, the first item that we had tabled was the amendment itself back in the, in the spring. In, in and the then the second point. item was a resolve that you filed, I believe, Council Farwell. So I think we got to take those two things separate. Uh, and I think the resolve is something that we can still move forward with because the resolve was basically a question to the solicitor as to the validity of the mayor signing the amendment. Uh, we still have the amendment, uh, which is another issue that we're dealing with, but I think the resolve was basically to question the solicitor as to why he advised the mayor or provided guidance to the mayor to sign the uh, amendment letter without council approval. And I think we need to kind of, we need to move in, into two separate uh, arrays in a sense, you know, deal with the resolve first and then deal with the amendment. Yeah, because the, the, the original resolve, I believe, was that Mrs. Marta Verde of Aquaria Water LLC and Mr. Raymond Diaz as general manager, now there was some change in management at that point in time as well. 
um, of a quarry water plant in Dighton, Mass. Um, up here uh, was an indictment mass on the 2016 public filing with the Mass Department of Public Utilities be invited to appear before a committee of the City Council to provide information relating to the current water system agreement. And that motion was made by Council Fowler and seconded by Council Beauregard and we postponed that um, to a September 17th meeting which we never did. Yeah, that's, that's how it all started. And then the other came into play. Yeah, so we got a We've got to circle back and, um, okay, well, uh, I'll circle back on that and I'll talk to the solicitor as well um, in regards to uh, that. Council, is just uh, one other item and then if somebody's got some other info, I just want to um, remind everybody that next Monday evening we have to be here at 6 o'clock for the hearing on uh, studying the uh, tax rate. I believe you have a packet in front of you. Everything should be in there, all information pertaining to from what I, um, conversation I had with Mr. Um, oh, O'Donnell and um, everything should be found there. If not, just let me know um, and I can uh, get it uh, get it uh, um, for you. Um, so we're here at six o'clock on that, and then and then um, technically I'm uh, at this point I don't foresee anything for finance. So we'll just probably have that special meeting, and I don't see myself calling a finance meeting um, afterwards. We'll just meet at six and have that. So if it overflows a little bit because of discussion, I'm sure there'll be discussion. If not. Then we go home early, and uh, we'll deal with finance um, at the at the next uh, meeting, uh, the third Monday in uh, in December. So um, I think that's all. That's all that I. That's all that I have. And uh, Councilor Azak. A moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may, Councilor. Um, I would just like to remind everybody that we have an accounts committee uh, meeting scheduled for this Wednesday, November 28th, at 4 p.m. at the basement at City Hall. Um, hope to, it's an open meeting. Hope to see everybody there. I hope my committee uh, will be able to make it. But it's uh, this Wednesday, November 28th. And as always, please, if um, residents have any questions, check the city website. It's full of information and it lists all our meetings, um, public meetings that are uh, happening. So it's a good source of information. And another moment of personal privilege, I would like to wish the best mom in the world a very happy birthday. I couldn't be with her tonight celebrating, but um, happy birthday, Madeline Azak. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Council Borgard. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. President, thank you. But when you were going over your calendar and checking off, um, there's still the resolve from the Comcast that um, the solicitor's office uh, was supposed to be coming. They were winding down that contract. The new contract, I should st say, with the city and Comcast, and they were supposed to come in front of us and give us some information I, on that. And if I'm not mistaken, was that not one of the items that I think was at the last finance meeting? I wasn't here for that one. That was the one um, postponed. Was postponed. The office said that there were negotiations and they didn't want to discuss it in a public right, forum. Right. Motion. I recused myself and Council Rodriguez read that into no, the record. I don't, think, I don't yeah. think it's on this particular list because it was the one right before I came back. But I'll, I'll make sure. And I'm sure they're probably still in negotiations. I'll well, check on they, that. they said they were going to be, you know, winding down and everything should be done by the end of November. So, actually, they said S even sooner. Sit negotiations, let me know how fast they wind down. Sure. No, 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 okay. no but they had given me some details. <laughs> well, I'll, was, I'll find yeah. out where okay, it's at. thank you. Yeah. I will find out where that's at. So, but I, I think... Remember, we were supposed to find out this information in June. <laughs> and, um... Yes. Right, the elevator was supposed to be fixed six months ago, too, so yeah. think of it that way. And everything, and I, I do want to also mention to you that it, um, I did go on, uh, it was one day a week ago, 10 days ago, I went on and I noticed that it still had us listed for the War Memorial Building, but I took care of that um, situation. And I've yet to see where the new process was without pitches and all that. I haven't seen a difference in there. Am I missing something? Nothing's been done. Okay, because I noticed some, all I see is drawing heads and no picture. <laughs> Colorful as you are. Absolutely. Yes, there you go. Any anything else? <laughs> Council Sullivan. Just a moment of personal privilege. Yes, I want to thank may. everybody that participated in the parade, the holiday parade again. I, I, I know Council Rodriguez every year is one of the organizers who's very, very well attended. The weather was with us this year, it was perfect. So thanks to be on the council and more importantly the citizens that were there. It was great. I had the best seat in the you house. You had the best seat in the house. I saw that. I did. There you go. Any any other business? Seeing none? Meetings adjourned.